Hi guys, so the video you're about to see is uh, of me and Little Mac showing you uh, some of our finds that we've had in the past. Um, excuse the mess behind me. Still need to sort more of the garden out still. Um, but as I always do, I always forget to put things in. So I've got two more finds here that I forgot to put in, so I thought I'd show you. So you got the good old uh, machete that we found up in Birmingham. When was with Scott Allgood. And also my first and ever um, samurai sword, which a lot of people was jealous of. Uh, was, was also found uh, with uh, Nigel from North Ants Magnet Fishing when we found the big safe. Which was a very good day, very, very good day. Um, and I do apologise um, about the video. It's nothing too exciting. Um, I feel bad because I'm not able to put some good content out for you. Um, obviously down to the uh, the virus so everybody well hopefully will understand that we can't go out and and uh, you know do some magnet fishing for you and get this uh, good content but as soon as this coronavirus is done uh, and we're able to go out believe me the next video is going to go up from that well after that is not going to be one to be missed at all it is going to be a really good day with a lot of good people so I hope you enjoy the video guys and again I apologise but please enjoy. Drop us some comments down there, make sure you drop a like. Cheers guys. Welcome back to Magnetic Max. So here we are with another video and obviously it's not a magnet fishing one. <laughs> it's magnet fishing related but not a magnet fishing one obviously down to the, uh, the uh, uh, lockdown and down to the virus and everything that obviously we can't go out. So me and Little Mac thought we would show you some of our best finds. Not everything, meaning not all the finds. There's just too much. Because um, I've already been sorting through most of it. So it's just the best parts. And also like the knife collection that we've got now. And ready for the amnesty bin. So here we are. We're going to show you some of the bits now. Well, little Matt's going to show you. Right. Give them a look what we got then. Um, as you know, um, one of these. It's from the police. So it's a police uh, baton or kosh, as some people call it as well. Yeah, so we've got one of them. Put that back on the table then. And then we've got... Careful of that. That is a piece oh, of the... a gat gun, which we found a little while ago. There's the... Yeah, it's trigger. where the trigger would be. And then you've got the other one as well, which I'm sure this is also a piece of a gat gun. Another gat gun, smaller one. Uh, come on then, come around this side. Now we've also got a collection of lenses for the railway and road lanterns. We've got a collection of those. I think there's, a, there's also car key batteries and uh, Zippo lighters. And this you haven't seen yet. Like a little old toy car, which I've got to clean up. Got quite a lot to do. Is a toy, Thought that was pretty um, cool. Kids' car. There's the man. Yeah. Um, and then we've got the air rifle. As well, which I still need to clean up a bit more. Well, say a bit more, a lot more. But that was pretty cool. That's put that, where you put your bullets. Yeah, put it over there then on, on there so it's out of the way. Good boy. And obviously, that's one of the knives we've got, which this was found quite a while ago. And then, if you remember this one, don't put it out, careful. This is one that Little Mac found, if you remember it. The combat knife, the lovely pattern on. And then we've also got the Swiss Army knife as well, which was like new when it was in there. We've got the clasp knife as well. <gasps> ah, the clasp knife. We got the Chad Valley uh, kids' toy pistol from the 19. Oh God. 18s. No, 1950s, I think it was. And then we've got the collection of horseshoes. And then if you remember this. This was um, the big safe that we pulled out with Nigel and Dan from North Ants Magnet Fishing. I wanted to keep a souvenir because that was a big safe and it took, well, I don't know, a good three hours to get it out <laughs> or more. So I wanted to keep a souvenir, so that's off the safe. But it was just quite funny because it says uh, fireproof and burglar resistant. Definitely wasn't burglar resistant. resistant. They took the whole back end out of the safe. Um, we've also got the old iron here that I found 
Um, when was it? Last week, wasn't it? Um, I have cleaned it up yeah, a bit. It was last Sunday. I've got to figure out how to clean it properly. If anybody does have any ideas on how to clean these type of things properly, please let me know. You can sort of make out the writing on there. Uh, I think it says number three. Well, N O three. N three, sorry. And then this is the Webley and Scott pistol uh, that I found quite a while ago now. This one I actually did call the police for because I didn't know, I wasn't sure what it was at the time, whether it was something serious or not. And uh, they did come down and check it and whatnot, and they said that I could actually keep it. So I've had that for quite a while now. Oh, little Max found a Tasmanian devil as well that we found. And there's some writing on the bottom. Is there writing on the bottom, is there? Yeah. There we go. Warner Bros. So it is a proper one. Well, saying that's made in China. And then, and then if you remember this. this, I think this was Can actually a little Max first ever find. Yeah. That he found magnet fishing. So we've had that for what, it's over a year now, this. And all it is is a makeup mirror. That's all it is. It was cool, he was well impressed with that. And then we've got the the revolver, from the revolver that uh, the Grim Reaper found quite a while back. And don't worry, these ain't live rounds, it's just um, caps in there. Because I did have to call up about this one as well. And this is what Dad found. And flag gun. This is the flare gun that I found a couple of weeks back as well. Like I said, it was from the Royal Air Force. That's hence why it's got that lug in it just there. If you can see it, that's where it attached into the fuselage of the into the uh, plane. Obviously, you've got the British Army stamp on there as well. And here's a Ford key. Yeah, and then that box there is full of keys. No. Keep your hands out. Keep your hands out. Full of knives, keys. Um, and a few other things, padlocks, fishing lures, scissors, um, stuff and like that. So that's the knife collection so far. It would look a lot better if I actually organised it and put it into a proper a box. box. Uh, this yeah. is the road lantern. It is a road lantern, yeah. That I found a little while ago. I've cleaned it up as best as I could for now. Again, any ideas on how I can do it better, please let me know. But you've got the branding on there as well. Um, and then also the name of it is on the door. There it is. And then we've also got um, this um, bayonet, which again I found quite a while ago. But I found this and the um, Webley and Scott pistol on the same day in the same spot. So I was really impressed with that. And as you can see, it's still got the number on there. And also the number on there as well but the condition of it was quite good can uh, little Mac hold the end of that the end that's it pull pull good lad as you can see the condition isn't too bad it's not the sharpest thing in the world I can tell you that and much it really you isn't put your line in the middle. and that notch there is where you would put your the rope. notch in on here and then you can feed, feed your rope through and then you can also cut your rope with that that's what that's for um, what else we got? That's it, isn't it? That's about it, yeah. So that's just some of our best bits. Oh, the big cannonball as well. We've got the big cannonball and then our small cannonball as well. So now we've got two cannonballs. Careful, ready? It's not that heavy. It's heavy, so be careful. So yeah, there's the cannonball and there's the big cannonball. Now we've got one each. Small one for little Mac. Big one, big one for, for Big, big Mac. Mac. <laughs> and yours has the horse still in it. Yeah, well these ones, they just shot these ones out. These are solid, these are. That is everything, isn't it? Yep. Oh, and also... <sighs> we've got Claire's badge from Bright House as well. <laughs> what? Claire, Bright House badge. Yeah. Found that a little while ago as well. But then there's all sorts of stuff in there which isn't that interesting, hence why I've left it in there. It's mainly, uh, we've got loads of lock keys. Oh, well, we have got a hammer as well. Now there's loads of lock keys in there. Hammer, well hammers. Uh, that's about it in there. So yeah, that's all the stuff we've got. Um, not the most interesting video I know, um, but we're very limited on what we can do. So we thought we'd just... Stuff in that bucket. I know, that stuff's got to go in the bin. Um, 
but we're quite limited on what we can do and where we can go and everything so we thought we'd just show you the stuff we've got at home got a steering wheel as well there was one main find that i forgot to add in i can't believe i forgot about it and um this is a grenade with the pattern still so there's the there's where the pin goes that's no that's where the, the screw cap goes on there and same as on and the bottom the pin goes across goes there, there yeah and it's hollow and it's hollow um, but that is a number five Mills grenade. And um, luckily, we when I found it, it was like that. So we managed to get it cleaned, and sandblasted, and painted. Thank you to uh, Nigel. Nigel again from North Ants Magnet Fishing. Cheers for that. Really, very much appreciated for sorting that out for me. So there we go. There's the grenade. <laughs> Hi, little Mac. I'm really enjoying your your videos. I'll let you look outside my front window. Oh, there's a motorcycle. But this is what I see when I look outside my living room window. A couple bird feeders. Um, not much activity out here. I do have a ditch in front of my house, so I'm, I'm going to try to go magnet fishing um, in my ditch. I don't know what I'll catch because... There's not much water in it, but I'll show you my magnets, and you'll probably laugh at me. I have this magnet. It's kind of thin. Maybe I need a new magnet. I have another magnet. I have this one. It's pretty thin, too. It's a rectangle shape, so maybe I need a, another magnet. I have another magnet, another rectangle shape. I have a Mickey Mouse magnet. We'll see if I can catch treasures with my Mickey Mouse magnet. And then, the other day, my husband brought home this magnet. It has a clip, but there's a little round magnet on the back. So when he gets home, I'll see if he'll take a video of me magnet fishing with my magnets. Don't think I'm going to have much luck, though. I'm not as good as you. You guys have a great evening there in England, and stay safe with this coronavirus thing. Talk to you later, bye-bye. Hopefully you'll enjoy this video. Like I said, I'm sorry it's not too exciting. Um, so please, so please like, share, subscribe as normal, if you can. And remember, if you're gonna stick a thumbs down on the video, make sure you slip into the comments the reason why you're putting it, why you're putting the thumbs down. So we can see if we can sort that out for you. We're always trying to improve the videos as much as we can. And as best as we can. Because like I say, I always only use my phone. So I think I do pretty well. And subscribe. <laughs> yeah, subscribe as well. So until the next time, guys. Bye. bye. Click the bell. <laughs>